Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to 3D print two different colors on the first layer with really any 3D printer. I actually stumbled across this from another person, but he showed it in a way that you have to use two different models, and then you print the first model first, and then you print the second one on top of it. This way we edit it directly in the slicer, and you only have to deal with one print sent to the printer. And it will automatically swap the filament out so that you can load the new filament in. Also, you don't have to load uh, the filament you want in the first one, as it will automatically do that as well. It should end up looking like this. Also, yes, I stumbled across this because I was trying to do it for my flicade lids and figure it out this way. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So here in Prusa Slicer, first import your model along with the second model used for the color change. You can actually use Prusa Slicer paint feature instead if you only want to deal with one model. But anyways, once you have them, make sure the orientation is correct. If it's like mine, make sure when reading it from the bottom, it reads correctly and isn't backward. Also, make sure that your first layer design is the same layer height as your print settings. So in my case, 0.2. I also recommend having a brim and having the height set to one and having it go outward three. The reason for this is then it will purge out the rest of the filament so that the first layer actually looks good. If you slice it now, you should be able to see it in the first layer. But now to have it actually change out the filament automatically, we can go to printer settings and add a second extruder, even though we really only have one on the actual printer. Once we have this, I find it useful to immediately set a color for each extruder. And now go back into the viewing area before we do anything with the G-code. Unless you want to change your filament multiple times, I recommend setting your text or whatever your icon is that you're adding onto the first layer to be the main extruder, extruder 1, and the main rest of the print to be extruder 2. Now go back to the printer settings and then go to custom g-code. You'll immediately see like the start and end. We actually want to take that first line from the end g-code, copy it, and then scroll until we find the tool change g-code. All you need to do here is paste that value that we just copied and type M600. Or I'll scroll down until you find change color g-code and it's also M600. Either way, you copy and paste that and the overall thing should be those two lines of tweak g-code. And that's really all we need to do. With this, you can automatically start printing your piece. Just upload your print and here's what you do with your printer. As far as the printer goes, literally all you need to do is grab your filament, wait for it to do the warm-up process. Once it does that, it will do its purge line. And once its purge line is done, it will unload the filament. This is when you get your other roll of filament and put it in. With the other one loaded, you will wait for it to purge. And once it's done purging, it will start printing. Also, I try and remove anything that happens to be on the first layer, like it was in this instance. But once it's done, it will unload the filament, and you can put in the filament you want for the rest of your 3D model. Then just wait for your rest of your print. And once it's done, you get the satisfaction of going click. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I actually didn't see any other video covering this topic and thought it was definitely worth sharing. Well, aside from that, let me know if you have any cool slicer techniques that you think would be cool sharing. And otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. Here he is, he's just right there on my neck.